Hi, and welcome to the channel for Alba's voice, solar, everything else. Okay, so I'm in my vehicle, and I am trying to see if I can take my Go Power. There it is. <laughs> take my Go Power and charge it into my solo controller. I know you're supposed to do it without the solar controller. So. And I'm gonna. And you can see, can you see that? I hope you can, because for some reason I don't know why I can't rotate my camera. <laughs> but it's charging. So according to this, the amp purchases let me take out that noise. Because the solar uh, panel is on. And you can see right there. Let me see if I close the door. Without hurting myself. <laughs> Actually, you know what I should... Well, I'd have to get the air conditioning on. I don't want... Can, if you can see that, hopefully you can see that. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so... Right now it's charging. The thing is, I don't know, at a, at a rate, I don't know what the rate is of it's charging. That's the thing. I'm still looking into getting um, a portable solar array. I know a lot of people say go to Harbor Freight, but that's just 13 watts. And this thing is pushing at 120 watts. So technically speaking, you need 120 watts or, be or better. And I have a whole bunch of these to charge up. So... Well, right now I just have the one I've been testing out. I could run this pretty much a long time. Let's see. Hold on. So right now the alternator is charging the um, the go power. Let me see if I turn this off. Does this turn off charging? Aha! So I turn off the the charging with the USBs it turned off the DC12 so if I turn it back on it goes back on charging look at that wow. this controller is pretty interesting because the other controller I got from uh, it came with the uh, the 12 volt um, those are in um, those are in pictures I don't have a video on that I sh uh, at the time I didn't think because I was trying to get it to work properly. Well, anyway, um, so, um, so then I had another solar controller. I had about a, a couple of them before I ended up with this one here. I hope you can see it. Can you see it? Let's see. Yeah, you can see it. So it's charging. But if I turn it off, watch the solar. Yep, it turns off on the Gold Plus. I turn it back on, it starts charging again. So it is charging right there. So that's the alternator. If I turn it off, turn off the key. The, sol the solar power is charging it. Now it says output current is 1. 1. 1.5 amp. Current charge amp, okay. Battery voltage is 13.2.1. That's the solar array. Because we all know that 100 watt solar panel is only going to give you about, well, the Harbor Freight one, it's like, a, um, you only get like 60 watts out of those four panels. I can imagine what the, the, the 13 watt one is going to be small. That's, that's going to that's gonna take too long. If you want to hurry up and get these things charged up, you're going to want something stronger. This is 55 watt here. I'm going to get a, I'm looking at 150 watt. If I get what I'm thinking of, um, no, it won't, it would be portable. It won't be, um, this brand here, it, 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 it is way too expensive and they're all pretty much the same. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just, I'm just testing this wire out here. Otherwise, because I'll get a, a heavier gauge wire because that's another thing the heavier the gauge the much faster it charges too okay 
So right now it's 1.9 amp. It's coming out. I notice when it chart when it's when I start up the engine, all this turns off. And then it turns back on again. Okay. I'm sun I'm getting full sun coming out of my, my panel there. This is the panel on top. Can't really not supposed to bend it too much. But I could bend it like this. It's supposed to like a 20 degree. That's good enough. And I got MC um, connectors for that. And yeah, I want to do the same thing with the battery. I want to uh, I want to change the way I have it hooked up to the battery inside the vehicle. But I'm just glad this is working like this. That means I can get the right cable. I'll get the cable that I need. Because this is that. This is only how many gauges is this? This oh, how does it so miniaturized? Because it tells you right on here what kind of gauge wire this is. I tell you, this company, it was good that they gave the cable with this. Too bad they didn't give a longer cable. But, uh, it's not bad. I don't have my... I might be able to. Let's see. What happens when I charge my phone? And charge up this battery at the same time. The soul control, I want one to stay inside the vehicle. That's the whole purpose of getting all these things. Let me see. Hold on a second. So I'm gonna, this is my um, C type, type C. Okay, so I'm, okay, it's pulling out 2.2 .2 amps out of my soil controller. Okay, temperature now, well, I don't have no AC on, so it's right now it's 47 Celsius. Gotta learn Celsius, but since I don't have these things, and oh, I'm sweating. And today it's 83 degrees out here. It's pretty hot. Oh wow, this thing shot up to 90 Fahrenheit on the Go Plus. Go Power Plus. Sorry. Yeah, Go Power Plus. But can I charge my phone and? Charge this at the same time. What happens when I do that? Oh, I'm gonna pause this.